Well, the truth is, is that they don't understand emotion very well. If they understood emotion differently than the way they understood it right now, they would be able to understand that all that knowledge is only useful when the emotions are under management. Unfortunately, what happens in trading is those emotions are not under management. And what happens is that the moment that they hit the risk, all that biological programming and psychological programming that was kind of hidden, pushed back in the back, suddenly arises to the front and takes over trading mind. And all of a sudden, you can't get into trades, you can't pull the trigger, you can't take a loss, you just absolutely start feeding bad trades, or you jump into trades you shouldn't be in. All that stuff, when in an irrational mind, you would know better. So the bottom line, at the very core, a trader really has to develop a better understanding of emotion and himself and his ability to perceive and think and act in an environment of uncertainty. The first thing is, let's start with an emotion, okay? What do you think an emotion is? Is it a feeling? Well, in neurobiology, an emotion would be considered a biological action potential whose purpose is to coordinate activity between the organism and the environment that it's a part of. Powerful. You go, whoa, what's that all about? It's not psychological. It is literally about how the brain adapts and reacts to changes in the environment. Because at the very moment, if you get that definition of an emotion as, as biological action potential, how does an emotion show up? Well, for vast amounts of time, what they've learned is that an emotion shows up at any moment that there is a disruption to a standard sensorial pattern that the brain has already created. Now, out of a textbook and into trading, you would actually see that is like if you have problems pulling the trigger, it's literally when everything's fine, and then all of a sudden a, a, a trade starts taking shape. You start getting confirmation. It's at that moment that there is a disruption to standard sensorial pattern. And in that disruption, an emotion, a biological action potential that coordinates activity between the emotion, between the organism and the environment, is going to take place. It's only a matter of which one. And this is when you begin to have to understand there is no such thing as freedom from emotion. What there is, and that it can be developed, is freedom of emotion.